What's going on guys? My name is Tommy. Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully my voice decides to play nice today because happy Friday. We're back for the next episode of the Inner Sea Region a five-minute tour and the last episode that takes place on the continent of Garoon. So with no further ado, except for I guess a little bit more further ado to real quick say that this episode of the Inner Sea Region a five-minute tour was brought to you in part by Joseph Harvilla. Joe, thank you so much for your support, and if you guys would like to support this channel and help us conquer the world of YouTube, the link to our Patreon is in the description. Now, let's talk about the Shackles. The Shackles is a stretch of land and a number of nearby islands in western Garund, directly to the south of the Eye of Abendigo. It's the haven of the notorious Shackles pirates, and it is built on the ruins of an ancient civilization. There's not a lot known about the Shackles past. At one time, it was part of the Lost Kingdom of Golgon. There are many ruins of an ancient civilization there. Disturbing carvings depicting cannibalism and blood sacrifice, you know, all the fun stuff. But other than that, it's mostly a mystery. A few scholars know that several millennia after the collapse of Golgon, two powerful sorcerers known as Ragsmada and Grey Whirlis came to the Shackles and fought one another for control of the archipelago, not unlike Nex and Geb on the other side of Garund. They both uncovered the powerful sorceries that caused the doom of Golgon and attempted to harness them. In the end, however, the sorcerers failed to understand and control the powers they were using, and in a disastrous incident, Grey Whirlis lost, and Ragsmada, heavily injured, was forced to retreat into her dungeon on Motaku Isle for centuries. When the region was eventually discovered by explorers from Cheliax, they declared it to be cursed and moved on to establish a colony further south at Sargava instead. As trade grew between Sargava and Cheliax, it attracted those, as these things always do, who wished to prey upon it. Pirates found the ancient harbors of the Shackles made excellent hiding places from which to strike, and soon these havens grew into proper communities. The creation of the giant everlasting hurricane known as the Eye of Abendigo permanently disrupted sea trade in the region, and in 4674, all of the pirate captains banded together to form one pirate fleet under the leadership of the newly elected Hurricane King. They started preying on shipping to the north of the Eye as far as the Ark of Eridan. When they were pursued by foreign ships, the pirates skirt the edge of the Eye using their superior skill and local knowledge to escape their enemies. Present day, the pirates receive a hefty tribute from Sargava in return for protecting it. The Shackles themselves have twice been attacked, once by Cheliax and once by Rahadum, but in both cases, the giant hurricane destroyed most of the invading fleet. The leaders of society in the Shackles are called the Free Captains. Most command only a ship or two, but the most powerful each control one of the region's ports, or even maybe so far as an entire island, and make up the Pirate Council. The leader of that council is Kurdak Bonefist, the present Hurricane King. How does one get a seat on the Pirate Council, you might ask? Well, one would think the answer to that would be obviously doing pirate stuff, raiding the most ships, bringing home the most loot. But in addition to that, the winner of the annual Free Captain's Regatta is offered a seat on the council. Sounds easy enough, right? It's just an annual sea race, organized by the Free Captains, which takes a dangerous route amongst the various reefs and sandbars on the edge of the Eye of Abendigo. So, you know, giant hurricane, lots of pirates trying to cut your throat to get what they want, namely a seat on the council, no pressure. Like everything else we've talked about, the Shackles does have a real-world equivalent, and ours, I guess, of all the things that we could compare it to would be the Caribbean, because, you know, pirates, just as Osirion is the place where our pharaohs go to be pharaohs, just as the lands of the Lenorm kings is where our Vikings go to be Vikings, the Shackles is where our pirates go to be pirates. If you've got a bunch of players that are hankering for an aquatic adventure or want to play some kind of race that has a move speed of like five, but a swim speed of, I don't know, 50 plus, and the Shackles is a good place to take them because you imagine that a lot of the campaigns set up in the Shackles will take place at sea. In addition to shaking up the player race meta in a given campaign, aquatic encounters can shake up the entire thing. People that prefer to play heavy armor might start shying away from it once they realize that their heavy armor sinks really good. People who don't habitually take powerful ranged weapons might start taking them when flying enemies fly over the ship and shoot down at you. If nothing else, people will definitely remember to put ranks in swim because you're constantly surrounded by water. I've GM'd for a pirate in the past. I've GM'd for a viking several times. Aquatic encounters can be a lot of fun, and of all the places on Galerion we've talked about, 
where quantity counters would be viable, the Shackles is probably the most so. If nothing else, I'm sure there's plenty of pirates who would be willing to take on new members of their crew or, you know, Shanghai them like it might happen in a certain adventure path. But no further spoilers here. What do you guys think about the Shackles? Have you ever adventured here? Have you ever played a pirate or played an aquatic campaign? If so, tell me all about it. Tell me how it worked for you. Tell me what was the most scary so I can, you know, throw it at my players eventually. Be sure to like and subscribe for more videos. The next episode of The Inner Sea Region, a five minute tour, drops next Friday.